Welcome to another part of World Tour. This time we're doing the Deep Water Rig. It's an area where there's, you know, a rigging going on. It's underwater, I guess, and that's it. That's why it's called Deep rig Deep Water Rig. And the score you want to get in this one is 4.5 million. Yes, close to 5 mil we have to get this time because it's a 500,000 point high score here. And it's always times it by nine. It's also aliens here. It's a submarine here. You know, there's the usual, you know, reverse feeble grinding going on here. You know, the, all the music CDs, the fucking uh, transmitters, and of course the keys from the bosses being in the pressure gates here. A diver. And the squid man. Now, the Squid Man is essentially our fire guy, and the Diver is the stomping motherfucker. Here's the thing. The problem with this one is the size. Because... The fucking Squid Man is very small. It's basically smaller than the kid. Remember that fucking, uh, cookie- that scout girl? Remember her? When we had to fucking defeat her? Back in, like, suburbia? Well... Problem. Are you ready for problem? I'm ready for problem. This fucker's smaller than her. And because of that, it's so fucking hard to hit the squid guy. It's not even a joke. The, the fucking squid man is bullshit. Trying to fucking accurately hit him requires me to get as close as possible to the fucker and then hit him. It's dumb. It's fucking stupid. And the thing is, I have to do that thing again where I have to avoid the flame, which for this one is fucking squid ink. And these guys are taking a lot of hits now too. So, yeah, you see that time I did? One minute, like 40 seconds. All of that time is how long it took me to beat this fucker here. And you can see right now how problematic this is. Not only do I have to avoid his ink, I have to hit this tiny fucker quite a few times. It requires me to find him and then hit him as best as possible. I can't just like jump and hit him. I have to get as close as I can and then do it. It sucks. This whole entire fucking boss fight sucks. I hate it. And I'm betting you anything, you hate it too. It's not a good boss fight. It never was a good boss fight. A lot of these boss fights kind of suck. It's definitely one of like the worst parts of this game. The fucking boss fighting. Seriously, I don't know how I was supposed to really fight this dickhead. It, it's terrible. I seriously hate the fucking, like, fire guys. And this guy, this fucking squid man, is one of the fire guys. Shit, the fire is now ink. So, it's smoke. Just... Mmm. Well, I defeated him with, like, 13 seconds left. Which is enough time for me to get the key and lock the pressure gates, but not enough time to do anything else. So unfortunately, this run was just bosses. That's the third time so far. Great. But this one was the hardest one too, because the Squid Man being absolute bullshit. <sighs> anyway. Now that's over and done with, we now have to deal with the rest of the shit, which obviously we're going to get a token first. So, let's go ahead, jump cut to that token, which is right over here. Okay, and I also got this uh, hidden area opened up for us. That's nice. We'll need to open anyway to actually get some stuff. There's also this jump right here. Bit awkward, there's a gap there as well, but no point to it. And now, now we're actually going to go forward into that area. We're not going to the transmitters yet. We're going into that area to show it off a little bit. Because it has a specimen in here. It has another one of those. You know, about two of them actually. And, uh... You know, it's a nice little area. This air, this whole level is actually pretty neat, honestly. It's just... The boss suck. 
and so do the collectibles in some aspect. But for now, here's me getting collectibles, you know, getting some shit, and now we're getting the transmitters done because in this jump cut here, I'm now doing transmitters. One of the transmitters is bullshit. The other ones are easy. They require you to jump and uh, grind on these wall areas. This middle one though sucks because the middle one is literally going in between the middle of this little ledge here and the grinds are pretty much off that center. So I would have to get kind of lucky to aim myself and take care of this unless I get on top of the thing and then balance myself on this ledge to get that. Fuck that I did that instead. Anyway, now all we have left is this grind right here, which is a rail above on this ramp. Grind the fucking rail and then jump up to that thing, take care of it, and you are done the transmitters. This is the hardest transmitters in the fucking game, in my opinion. Uh, the last level was the hardest to get to, but this one's actually the hardest to even hit. Because of that middle one. The middle one sucks. But yeah, now we uh, get to take care of all the transmitters, and then, then we get to have some fun as we, uh, you know, get to move around, breaking some shit and such. Hey, you know, transmitter destroyed, got the race level unlocked. Let's get ourselves that token that's right next to the CD token there. Like so. At six. And now for a whole fuck ton of jump cutting, I have to take care of the rest of the tokens and shit. So first of all, this jump cut right over here, which take care of this token right here. Then I go around the submarine to get the other one. If you grind around this ramp, by the way, you want the submarine, which is enough to actually complete the goal, which I didn't know about until way later. Also, here's a little cutscene, because I uh, end up not getting much else after I take care of this. And another token, which brings up to 10, actually. Yeah, it, I have to really keep my pace, huh? It sucks, huh? Actually, it's nine. So, there you go. Let's the hidden transmitters. And now, Jump Cut City. First of all, this one by the CD here. It's one. Got ten now. And uh, down over here on this ramp. Grind this. Get another token. There you go. Eleven. Uh, next one's right over here. Which is a nice little kicker jump there. Twelve. Then, you, uh, you know, go around over here. You onto this ramp in the middle for thirteen. And then you go over to here and grind this rail here for 14 around this rail where the health is on the other side. And there's another one right over there that's 15, but don't worry, we'll take care of that later because this is the 15 one. Uh, and then this one over in the middle area here is 16. 17 right there, as you can see. And uh, over here will be 18 on that big jump that we couldn't do before. I couldn't do really. And then there's these last two of the CD here. Uh, number two, number three, and the city's out of the way right now. Uh, the fucking jumps there, though, are bullshit. One of them will require us to actually use our boost ability, but we have to use it in a specific way. We have to use just a little bit of boost, enough to make us jump into the fucking thing, but not, uh, go over it. Because it's very easy to miss that. So after about three attempt playthroughs, I finally manage it. And that's how I did it. It sucks annoying. It's the worst pickup in the entire game. Be careful. You'll be spending a lot of time on it. Okay. Now it's time for these specimens. Smashing them by grinding the spots. That's one specimen jar. Second one's right over here. The third one is over by the uh, area we unlocked. Actually, the third one's right over there by the submarine. And also, I believe I unlocked the submarine right now. Nope. Okay. It is the fourth one in that area we unlocked. And the fifth one is right by on the right side of that. There you go. All the jars. Okay. Now it's time to lock the fucking submarine. Because we're going to do that right about now after this little cutscene. Okay. So first of all, I didn't do that because I locked this little cutscene first. We're going to rail down for us. That's nice. I'm not going to use it. And now, grind on this area if you want. And then go all the way around. Pass these two gaps. There you go. Submarine's opened. Okay, so now it's time for the trick thing, the reverse feeble grind. Uh, for this one, we have to go upwards and then feeble grind on this spot all the way through. Which, once we do that, if we get enough length, which for some reason is the goal apparently, even though it just says do a feeble grind, uh, you manage it, like that. 
And with that, I am now going to take care of the high score and then take care of the big score, the 4.5 million one. Which is the same trick you're seeing right now. It's not going to be anything interesting. But yeah, uh, essentially we are now uh, getting close to at we're being close to end game now. We have two more levels left, and we're doing very good so far, honestly. So here's me going to get the score. At this point, the millions are becoming a bit uh, obnoxious because even with three meds on our uh, time limit. The problem is actually trying to get uh, such a high score with how limited our, you know, scores are in this game and such. Bit of a pain. But luckily, grinds are very useful. So, if you want to make this happen, I would recommend using the manual shit to get a big multiplier going, but for score, Find a long rail and use a blunt slide no switch or any special grind to get a big score out of it. And then stack that bitch up with manuals. Okay, stack it up with all the fucking shit you learned before with the manual thing. Where you do like special tricks, special manuals for all that shit. You keep going like that, you win. Seriously, the manual grind combo shit here is insane and it's literally how I'm going to end up getting these scores now because just doing manual is not enough. I need to combo and chain this shit up with special tricks, like special grinds. It gives me close to 2 million every time but that's not going to be enough for this game. Oh no, it's going to get dumber. And you already know what the rewards are for doing, you know, the two multiplier to nine multiplier score bullshit thing as these levels. It's always going to be scooter skins and our previous rider skins. It, it's, it's silly. But, uh, yeah, this is literally me handling this. And as you can see, if you land it, uh... The scores you get from those tricks lowers. So, you want to try and get as much as you can in your first combo before you start going for a second combo in order to, you know, add to it. So, try and make a huge fucking combo your first go and then add to it as best you can with more and more. Uh, otherwise, you're going to struggle. Unless you're using different tricks, if you know them, which will help you still. But yeah, I do manage this. You know, even though it is a big score, it is four and a half million, close to five mil. You know, we still have to manage it. We have to be like the fucking fuck pro guys, okay? We have to get those insane scores. Which I do manage in this run. But, uh, yeah. We'll need to do a whole lot more after this, unfortunately. But for now, we have succeeded in our score thing here. And we'll be doing our race next. So, let's land this trick. This combo, I mean. And there you go. Right. Now it's time for the race. This race is... It's average. It's not hard. It's not easy. It's just average. That's that's the best I can say about that one. And uh, once you complete this, you get your next skater, which uh, yeah, let me check who the skater is actually, because I already know who it's gonna be because we only have one left. And considering this area we're in, where it's all like Antarctic and shit, yeah, it's Ice Mocha. So, he's the DJ. He's a turntable guy. This band's weird. 
Anyway, uh, all we have to do is the same as usual, you know, manual down this area. There's a whole lot of room for you to do this, though, and a whole lot of downward fucking hills, so... You'll manage. You will win this. If you can't win this, you suck. And, uh, yeah. After this, we will do our bonus, and that'll be it for this part. Uh, and we're nearly done now. We only have two levels left, so... We've got every skater, though. Because we will get Ice Mocha here, and that's it. Like, when it comes to the manual I have here, Ice Mocha is the only character that we haven't unlocked yet. Everyone else we have. So... What the fuck's gonna be up with the next level, then? Some serious base. But, uh, yeah, that is Ice Mocha, our final skater, and now we're gonna do our bonus for the deep water rig. Which is... Not a fun one. It's a shitty one. And you know what kind of shitty one it is. Yep, it's crates. It's less crates than before, too. It's an easier version than the last one. Ah, this kind of sucks. This kind of really sucks. Anyway, uh, that is basically this entire part. Nothing else I can really tell you about this one. It's basic. It's okay. The level design of the deep water rig is nice, but the goals kind of suck. The scores are getting stupid, and this bonus is shit. And we have all the skaters now. We have Ice Mocha, our final skater. So, you know, what the fuck else are we going to get now for doing those races? You'll find out. Remember, I'm doing this blind still, so I don't know what I'm going to expect in the recordings. But I do know what I'm getting now. And yeah, here's Ice Mocha and also Rika's costumes. He has good stats. And he's our final character we plan as for the rest of the game, essentially, except for the last level. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's our Model 6, and here's Model 7. It sucks, not using it. So, yeah, that's going to be doing it for this part. Uh, next time, we'll be going over to uh, Movie Set. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time for an aggressive inline level.